everyone. Welcome to the home and hearth living. We are going to work on one of our family favorites here, our waffles. And we like homemade waffles. The boys were kind enough to get me a gift last year, or a few years ago, not sorry, last year, a few years ago for Christmas. And it's a waffle iron or a waffle maker. And uh, we absolutely love it. It's one of our favorites. And of course, I'm a favorite of the square waffle because, you know, around the corners, you're just cheating yourself out of waffle. So <laughs> we like the big square ones. So what I have going on here is just a, it's a really good recipe from allrecipes.com. We'll share that in the show more section below. So check it out there. And what you need to do here is to get eggs all whipped up together. So let's do that. It says two large, but mine are kind of medium-y ish. So I grabbed three. So just going to pop those in the bowl. And it's usually best when you're baking or cooking, you use room temperature eggs. Right. And it says you want to get them all whisked together. So let's do that. Okay. And sometimes it wants you to wait a little bit before you make your waffles. Some, some recipes say wait 20 minutes. I find it, or a, an hour, or you can put them in the fridge overnight. That's usually what I end up making them on uh, Christmas Eve. And then they go, and then we make them Christmas morning. It's less things to, I just have to pour it. Right. But we're going to make apple cinnamon ones today. So, so we have our three eggs all put into the bowl here. Now we have a cup and three quarters of milk. Okay. That off to the side. Get that mixed in there. And then it says vegetable oil, but I like using melted butter. So I'll always add melted butter instead. Just pop that there while I get my butter measured. Okay. And then here, it's not hot. Okay. We want to get that in there too. And then same with the vanilla. Okay. And if everything's the same temperature, it just goes together a lot easier. Okay. Just kind of drizzle that in. Okay. And we'll want to add our applesauce in here too. And this is our homemade applesauce from our own apple tree bush, whatever's outside. And it's three quarters of a cup. Okay, just pop that in there. Okay, move all that off to the side. And then we'll add our vanilla. Okay, it's always messy. Let's try to get prep things ahead of time. Even got myself a nice wet towel on the end. <laughs> and this just requires a tablespoon of, or sorry, teaspoon. Sorry, my apologies. A teaspoon or half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Now, if you don't want to add the applesauce, you don't have to. That's, I'm adding this to the recipe. The recipe does not actually have it in there. I'm adapting it to me. All right, so once all those are, the wet are all mixed together, you're gonna take two cups of flour, though I add just a little bit more, a couple of tablespoons more because I put in the applesauce, okay? That's the only reason why I put in a little bit more. And then I have two, oh sorry, four teaspoons of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and then just a one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Very light on the cinnamon. Pop doesn't really like cinnamon all that much, but he does like the flavor of apple cinnamon together. So, oops, I forgot to grab something to mix that before I put it in with the wet. Sorry, thought I was all prepared. Never am. Just kind of give that a little fluffins before you put it in with your wet. Okay. And at this point in time, you can pretty much turn your uh, waffle iron on. I like classic. It just gives a certain cook to it. There it is. And then you can have a light or dark on this little connection here. This is a Breville. Uh, I'm not sure if Pop remembers uh, what the, the link was for it because it was several years ago. I'm not even sure if we were doing YouTube then. Right, and then we're just going to mix it together, okay? Hopefully you can see that. Just trying to get it incorporated at a time. A little bit at a time, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Oops. 
shook a little bit too much. I'm all shook up on. <laughs> all right, okay, there. Let's give it a good old arm exercise. You pretty much just want to make it so it's all together. We don't have to spray our waffle uh, iron. It, uh, it's a non-stick, and then if you, like I said, I'm using butter, so that helps things come off a little bit easier. Oh, these smell so good. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can double your batch, you can triple your batch. We've made these and froze them, and we will freeze if we don't use what we, what we don't use. So, because I'm pretty much making these for easy breakfast to pop in the toaster. And that's why I used applesauce instead of apple chunks, just in case some of those apple chunks fell off um, and didn't get incorporated in the batter enough or well enough. Uh, I don't want that to be like a mess in my toaster. But you can always just pan fry them, I guess. Just do my little pan frying butter. Okay, now I'm just waiting for this to heat up. It should just take a couple moments. And then I'm just going to use the half cup scoop and to, once I give it a wash, actually, I guess I don't have to because I had butter in it, um, to, as my placement inside okay to scoop out okay that beep right there tells me that the elements here on top and bottom are up to temperature they're beautiful now one of these scoops should fit pretty good inside one of these okay Now it's going to expand, so you don't want to fill up the whole thing. I'd rather have a little bit gap in one section than have it overflowing. Okay. Here and then down. And then it's going to tell me in five minutes and 40 seconds it's going to beep. So I'll see you in five minutes and 30 seconds. We have about 30 seconds left on the timer for the apple cinnamon waffles, and we're very excited. We being me. All right, 20 seconds. Now, this one, this one has a very couple of different settings. It's got Belgian classic, chocolate, buttermilk, custom. So if you liked one a little lighter, a little darker, you can tweak it. It's got a button to go lighter, darker. You can add a little more time. This one's a good one. And I like it that it opens a lot. Okay, so here we go. Open it up. Filled up pretty good. Could use maybe a little bit heavier scoop. Now I found the best thing not to mark my um, non-stick was just a couple of chopsticks. It, do, it's not, it doesn't have to be complicated. They look amazing. They smell amazing. They fit in the toaster just fine. So that's four. That's a stack of four. That's usually what the boys will have. I have one and a half. <laughs> and then we serve that with some butter and either some jam or some of our Canadian maple syrup here. Uh, there's nothing better than Canadian maple syrup, let me tell you. Okay, so let's stir this up and put it on another batch. And like I said, these are just going to go in a baggie and get frozen so they're easy breakfast to just toss into the toaster and the boys can you know fry themselves up an egg have a egg and waffle sandwich have a little bacon there is a little lock mechanism here but I only thought it was for carrying um, so I or trying to squish something down because we've done like burgers in here we've done grilled cheese in here the waffle iron isn't just for waffles, so you, you, you find lots of recipes. That's what, hence the chocolate waffles. You can do whatever you like. There's lots of stuff in there. Yeah, and then all these little crevices, get a little butter. It's 
gonna be yummy and tasty. And they smell delicious with that little bit of apple, uh, applesauce, not unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce. That's from our own apple trees, um, our own applesauce. And so this recipe probably will make about 10, 10 waffles. So you, like I said, you could always double it, triple it, quadruple it, whatever it is that you need for your family. And if you wanted to prep ahead. So this is doing the countdown. It's got four minutes and 45 seconds to go. So that's pretty much our video today is in this lovely recipe and how we adapted it to us and how we like it here at the Home and Hearth um, Living uh, channel here on YouTube. And we really appreciate anybody who comes along and subscribes. Don't forget to hit the notification button. We greatly appreciate it. If you have ideas for recipes that you'd like us to try uh, or want to do, you want to see us do, by means, please leave it into the comments. We're happy to take suggestions and willing to, to venture beyond our comfort zone. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not some crazy plans. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Big hugs to you from us. Bye-bye. Waffles.